Alright, so this image I'm going to replace this white dull background with a cloudy background here that I've already got set up. I haven't gone for your typical beautiful blue sky. I just thought that maybe the the clouds might add to the um, to this image a bit more than just having a perfect sky. It's not the best day, um, although we can try and work on that uh, at the end. When you're choosing two images that you want to combine together, uh, do be aware of obviously resolution, making sure they're the same quality, and also the direction in that your camera is sitting. You, know, you don't want to have clouds that are uh, you know, very distant very quickly or looking up too far, too harsh. You want it to sort of have that same angle. So hopefully these two work together okay. Right, so the first thing that I want to do is try and select as much of this foreground as possible. So I'll be combining quite a few um, tools today. So the first one I'm going to do is the rectangular marquee tool. This is a really good one just to <coughs> excuse me, select and grab, um, grab across and obviously get as much of that space as I can. The next one I'll work with is uh, either one of these. Uh, the magic wand tool, I could hold down shift, so it adds to that selection, and just click in this tree area here. So I don't think that's going to work perfectly this time, so what I might use instead, I've just done an undo, is your quick selection tool. So this one here is great if you haven't used it before. Basically, if I, um, if I click in this tree area here and drag a little bit, you'll see that it's actually picked up that whole area that I wanted. And the reason it's done it is wherever I clicked in the first place, it's going to find other pixels and tones similar to where I clicked. So it's a really good way to select a whole area quite quickly all at once. You'll see here, um, if I do the same thing, click and drag a little bit, it's actually picked up that whole area for me. Um, making sure that when you do do this, that you've got this plus icon here um, selected. You'll notice I didn't say that we had to hold shift for that next option. Um, that's because we've got the little plus icon and that is adding to our selection. This one here it would have taken taken on a new selection, which we didn't want to. We wanted to add to that rectangular marquee. Right, so the next one I'm going to use is this uh, polygonal lasso tool. It's in the same family as lasso, it's third down. And what we'll do here is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And basically we're going to uh, kind of just draw on an outline around this image here all the way around. It's good to do it a little bit at a time, um, and you'll see why in a second. And the other thing to do is, first making sure that we're on that, um, add selection again where it's got that little plus, so we don't have to worry about holding down uh, shift. So keep this at zero as well, nothing else we need to change here. So what I want to do is I want to actually drop a little point uh, just here in the image, so I'm just going to click once. Basically that's like clicking, putting a thumbtack on the wall. I didn't actually want to start up here close to the rest of the marching ants because it's just quite hard to um, see where I'm clicking what I'm clicking. But at least now I can actually see down here uh, my starting point. What I want to do is, I don't have to be perfect in this instance, but I'm actually just, uh, I'm, not, I'm not clicking and dragging with my mouse. I'm just clicking once, uh, moving, releasing my mouse button and then clicking again. So like so. I want to do it a little bit at a time, I'll show you why, I'm just going to come back down here and you'll see I can see where my starting point is, if you can't quite see what I mean, I'll zoom in a little bit, back to my starting point and you'll know that I'm back to my starting when you see that little zero, a little circle, sorry, I just click there, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see what we've got now is a little extra part added to our selection, zoom in again, right, just move with my mouse, spacebar. So, I'm um, just going to click again here and make my way up, zoom out a little bit. So, I've just done a few more, sorry, zooming in and out here. Okay, so if I realise I've done something wrong and I click out in an area that I didn't want to do, A, we could fix it up at the end when we want to adjust our mask, or at this point I would imagine I can click undo. I try and do my shortcut, that doesn't work. If I want to head up to edit, you'll notice that none of this is working either. So what will happen, um, my little mouse will follow me around. I'd assume that I could go up to my history panel, but it's not gonna, it's not clickable. And what you'll see what I'm doing is actually just creating new points everywhere on my page. So a bit of a disaster if I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing. So at this point, all I'm going to do is actually click return. And it's going to accept my weird selection that I've got here. And just click undo at this point, head up to 
go undo one step, well obviously we could have done our undo here, or control or command Z, but you'll see now it's taken me back to uh, where we had our starting point. So if anything does go wrong, don't worry about it, you can uh, just click return and do that process again. That's why it's quite good to do a little step at a time. So let's move it a little bit here. Alright, so back on. So notice I've started down in the middle again, just so I can see where that starting point is. So I'm just going to click a couple of these. I'm not being too fussy right now for the sake of this tutorial. Because I know you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to come back down, get to my starting point. Remember, if I can't see my starting point, I can just click return and it will accept that selection. So I'm going to do another one, I'll start here this time, come up. At this point, oh, there's, there's a bit of detail here. I'll probably zoom in for that and get it done perfectly. But again, just for the sake of a shorter tutorial, I'm not going to worry about that. Oops. Sorry. So... So I'm going to come back all the way down because I want to select all of this area here. So I'm just going to come to here, back around, find my starting point, which is just there. So I've just added this whole area. So you can see how we're shaping up. Just got this area here to do. All right, next part. Not the best points of that area, but that's okay. Probably would have done this in two stages, but it's just a mock-up. Okay, so here we go. There's a bit of an area there that I'll need to uh, fix up, and maybe here as well. But basically, we've got that whole outline selected. We've used the rectangular marquee tool. We've used, uh, we had a look at the uh, marchi, uh, sorry, the magic wand tool, but we end up by using the quick selection, and then I combine that with that polygonal lasso tool that just gives us hard edges. So my next stage is to come over to your Layers um, panel. If you can't see that, just reset your essentials and head on down and just click on your um, create a mask option. And you'll see here that we've got rid of our background. So, so far we're going quite well and everything's not looking too badly. So, I'm going to head over to my clouds that I have set up already. I'm just going to select these, Control or Command A, and with my black arrow selected, I'm just going to click and drag. I'm not going to release my mouse just yet, I'm going to release it when I get to the image. And that way I'm able to copy and paste. Otherwise you could do that, Control c uh, Control v or Command. Um, all I'm going to do now is, with my black arrow, you'll notice I just move that in place. And I just want to reorder my layers, so I'm just going to drag this to be underneath my main shot. So here we go, almost there. You can see that, that little bit of that dodgy area that I was careless with my points here. I'm just going to fix a couple of those cloud areas, and a few around here. So what I'm going to do now is actually amend my mask. You would have seen if, I, if you've watched the hair tutorial, um, how to refine your edge. If you double click on this uh, icon, we can go through to this area here. So I won't do it entirely because we've just done a tutorial on that. But I can obviously start to adjust that edge however I see fit. Click OK. It's probably a bit fluffy. Take that down a little bit but we've done this process already. So there we go, that's how we would uh, combine two images together, just using a, a couple new techniques that might be suitable for your image. So good luck with your um, next shot.